Hey folks, it's Mark from Fire Mountain Outdoors. So now you did it. You put a quad rail on there. And now the law of unintended consequences has come to bite you in the butt and you realize, hey, this thing hurts my hands to hold. And it catches on my seat cover and where it's holding my seat. And it's wearing out the inside of my gun case. Why did I ever put this rail on here when I only needed a little spot over here to mount a laser or in, in the light and other stuff and when there's all the rest of this stuff? What am I going to do? Well, here, I'm here to tell you what you're going to do. You're going to put rail covers on there. Now, there's two types of rail covers. Um, there's this type. These are uh, just a pop-on rail cover. You can stick them on from the end or slide them on. Uh, usually they're they're really kind of a pain to put on. You got to line them up. Uh, they're hard to put on, but for some reason, through some magic, uh, they're really easy to come off. You're gonna come home from a trip in the woods and and you're gonna have a big pull because your stuff fell off. The other thing that they do is they add a significant amount of bulk. Um, it makes your your handguard now you got a fatty. So uh, they're also they're really not all that customizable because they take up a predetermined block. I can't expose one rail there. Uh, you, and you always end up with having too long or too short. So this type is an option, but what I like more is the ladder style right here. These ones I got from Amazon.com and these ones are a seven inch long. They come in a package of four and for $10. <laughs> They're made in China. This looked about like anything. But, uh, you know, if you're going to go to your local mom and pop gun store, you're going to find that these are about 20 bucks a pack instead of $10 a pack. So if you've got Amazon Prime, it's really kind of a no-brainer to get these. So I'm going to show you how to install them. So we got the 7-inch ones, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put this on here and look and say, oh, they are too long they won't fit. They're only made to go in the actual rail surface, not the extra pieces at the end. So you're going to have to cut these to fit. But that's the beauty of these, is that uh, you can put these on and then cut and trim and, and put sections. You could even just put one in if you wanted to. So we're going to use some really high-tech uh, snips right here. And we're going to trim this very carefully right there and throw it in my lap and you could take a file and touch up the ends but you know what I did such a darn fine job of cutting it and I don't need to and then you just stretch and press these over now these ones were uh, a little bit a little bit short they'd shrunk a little bit so I had to stretch them out a little bit to make that fit and then we're gonna repeat the same over here I'm gonna measure cut I know I need to cut right here we're gonna put this on again there now see you can look at that oh my tender fingers they feel so much better now on my quad rail I no longer hate my quad rail it is nice and smooth and I can caress it it does not make cheese grated cheese out of my hand so I think that these ladder rails are the best addition that you can do on a quad rail and then when I'm gonna add the accessories later I can just trim and adjust for that after I decide where I'm gonna position the stuff so hey if you like what you saw today uh, check us out, FireMountainOutdoors.com, uh, Fire Mountain Outdoors on YouTube, and Fire Mountain Outdoors on Facebook. Thanks for watching.